Welcome back to Trail Tested, where I test gear for the first time and provide you with my first thoughts and experiences. Today, two shoes from Ultra should be super fun. Let's go for a run. All right, so let's talk about what we're going to trail test today. Uh, both shoes are from Ultra, and I thought this would be kind of a fun comparison. I've run in the previous versions of these shoes as well, so this is gonna be an interesting sort of experiment to see how these shoes have evolved, starting with the Mont Blanc Boa version. So this is a huge selling point for this shoe, is this new lacing system. Hopefully that dials in the fit, because the first version of this shoe I had a lot of issues with. This will be an interesting test. And then this, the Olympus 5 from Ultra. I've run in the previous Olympus. I absolutely loved the previous versions of the shoe. Uh, they've made my gear of the year list as well. So the new fifth version is gonna be interesting. A couple of updates. We're gonna have fun testing this one out. I think with these shoes today, we're gonna be running a little bit of flat, some steeper ups, some steeper downs, having some fun on those descents. And then we're gonna give you my first impressions. Let's go for a run. All right, so I actually think we're gonna start with the Mont Blanc Boa. I've been excited to try these for quite some time. So let's get these on my feet for the first time. Cardboard. These basically have a Titan and loose mode. So right now they're in loose mode, so I can actually get them on. Already seeing, you know, a little bit of fabric bunching. That's to be expected uh, in the previous version of the Mont Blanc, I did have to go down a half size. These, I'm hoping I can dial in a little bit more precisely. Burrito style tongue kind of folds over itself there. Make sure that it's all flattened out, comfortable. Click, click, tighten up. I do wish that I could quickly dial back a few notches without having to completely release it and then going back in and retightening. So that's, you know, a bit of a nuisance. But right out of the box in the parking lot, yeah, they feel like shoes. All right, let's go for a run. You might have also noticed that I decided to wear stripes today. This is my trail running mime shirt, matching stripey socks. Let's not forget that Ultra is known for two major things, foot shaped shoes and zero drop. One thing I remember from the last version of the Mont Blanc that I tested with the laces, was how much ground feel there was. The midsole was fantastic, but there's not like a huge gob of it that takes away ground feel. With these, you're getting that same exact experience with just better fit on the top of the foot. We're gonna put that to the test here in a second by heading up Nook Trail and down Sexton Line. It's a nice, steep, flowing single track. Not a ton of technical stuff today, but enough to really test this upper and how much it stretches or opens up. That, to me, is the biggest note that I wanna to try to figure out with these shoes, is how different that fit is from version one. Ye old bridge. So I'm really trying to like think through my original Mont Blanc experience and how these compare. And I basically remember these were the stages with the original Mont Blanc right out of the box. Oh, this is awesome. I love these. About a week or two into training with them. Oh man, these have really opened up and they're a little too loose got worse the more I ran in them. My hope is that I can kind of start to break these in today. Sort of that honeymoon phase right now. I am noticing a little bit of looseness in the heel. A couple clicks, both the front and the back. Is that enough? Eh, not really. So that boa isn't really connected to the ankle at all. That kind of sucks. All right, as we cross over this, little bridge here, I'll comment on the grip. You know, that's one of those saving graces with these Mont Blancs. So they're really, really grippy. The mesh on the upper is very stretchy. It's like an elastic material. And they just feel so comfortable, like a slipper on your foot that has all this traction. Pretty, pretty comfortable. I'm very thankful that the midfoot is actually holding really tight across the top of my foot and like evenly distributed because the ankle right now wants to like pop out. Beautiful day out today. We're finally getting into those autumn temperatures in the 70s. Some of the leaves are already turning. This is why we live in the Northwest for days like today. Beautiful. All right, this is that last steep punch. Everything's pretty loose. 
very dusty and dirty. Uh, the shoes are, of course, holding well. Happy about that. Even in the loose stuff, actually. It's nice. <clears throat> I feel that heel. That shoe's heel just is like holding on for dear life. And I don't think it's a fit issue because the boa across the midfoot feels great. It's that ankle. Uh, last few steps, we'll turn right on the talus, open up a bit. There we go. Nice and flat. Up and over. And down and under. Woo oh, God, he's coming. Whee! Okay, so before we head down section line, I just want to point out that this is what I'm talking about here around the ankle. There's a lot of open space and this fabric is very stretchy. So like I could literally just slip my heel out, boom, and it's out of the shoe. So that's a problem when you have all this boa that you're tightening down and all it does is it tightens around the midfoot because then you have nothing back here to hold your ankle. Uh, before I head down, I'm gonna tighten these pretty much as tight as I can actually stand uh, because I'm a little nervous that they're going to wanna pop out or cause an issue. Let's run some downhills. Let's test it out. Here we go. Yeah, it feels good. Again, that outsole is fantastic. Because of the angle of this descent, my foot's sort of feeding into the front of the shoe. Because that upper is so soft, no real issues with the toes on the edge of the shoe, which I get in the 10 and a halfs. As I step on bigger rocks or roots, the shoes kind of flex around them. You feel it, great ground feel. Going back to that slipper-like description. I feel nimble in them, that's for sure. Like, I feel like I could pick through real technical terrain really easily because they're so light and nimble. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. You know, I do commend these shoes for being super fun on downhills though. Yeah, this is having a great time. Whoa, oh, I can feel those rocks for sure. Yeah, if you're looking for a protective shoe, something that's gonna keep the sharp rocks, the big rocks from really impacting the bottoms of your feet, these are not them. Down here through the crunchy fall leaves, beautiful afternoon. We're reaching the end of the section line trail descent. We're gonna hit some flat section here and we'll really see how these will hold up. Oh yeah, nice and warm, love it. I feel every little nub <laughs> underfoot. I like a bit more protection. These aren't necessarily designed for that. And as we sort of hit these flat, open fire roads, that's sort of where you begin to feel the shortcomings of the shoe. I'm feeling that heel move still. In my mind, I'm thinking we might be dealing with a size issue. So I might have to go down half a size. But this is the same thing I had with the other version, or even going down half a size. Ended up putting my toes over the edge of the last, and without a heel counter, it was still a major issue trying to get grip on the back of the heel. The boa is great, but I'm not sure if it can save the Mont Blanc. I think they need to go back to the drawing board on this one. Last mile, basically, of testing these shoes in the first run. I like picking up the pace in these things. They do feel good on the flat and fast, but it also makes me more excited to try the Olympus because of that extra protection, cushioning, still with the Vibram, all sorts of stuff. Hey, Alan. You're doing it, yeah, right here live. Just ran into our good friend, Alan. He's out here four or five days a week, going up to the top of Tiger. He is uh, our inspiration. That guy is super kind, generous, and one badass athlete. He's out here all the time hiking these trails. So shout out to you, Alan. Good to run into you today. All right, which brings us to the last like half mile or so of this loop with the boa. Uh, so let's summate my thoughts. I want to love the Mont Blanc. I really do. I think it has some really interesting key features that make it a standout. There's just so many things that keep it from being great. I'll put a ton more miles in them, of course, and really be able to give you good feedback on them. But right now, I'm a little bummed. It does make me excited, though, for the Olympus. So let's get back to the car and switch. 
Woo! Probably do the same loop. We might extend it, we'll see. Just because it is such a beautiful day. So many stripes today. I'm a mime. All right, time to swap shoes. Let's pull the boas off. You know, quick on and off. That's a nice feature. And now for these bad boys. The old Olympus Fives. Been excited about these for quite some time. Hopefully a good, nice, snug fit. We've got this new heel pulse, just like the new Timps as well. Don't know if I'm a total fan of it, but whatever. Grab what remaining water we have. Got about four or five miles left in this loop. Cushioned, more cushioned than the Mont Blanc, and I'm excited about that. Uh, let's go for a run. All right, starting our second loop. Oh yeah, oh, first few steps, way more protection. The shoes feel a lot stiffer. It's all very expected at this point because the shoes are very different, They're very different purposes. One thing's for sure, that ankle is locked in. It's funny how you have a heel counter in a shoe and it feels like it holds onto your heel. I just feel like the shoe's not fighting me in these. It's not wanting to slip off, so that's good. It's really interesting to wear the Mont Blanc and the Olympus Fives back to back because it shows how much the Mont Blanc is just designed for a completely different purpose. It's a race ready shoe for those looking for a low profile, lots of ground feel type of ride. Let's go up Nook, let's get some vert. The Olympus has always been one of my favorite long distance trail shoes. Even though they're zero drop, I think because of the amount of cushioning they have underfoot, that does begin to equal out if you're used to like a four mil drop or a six mil drop. These are a really easy way to sort of adapt to zero drop. The Mont Blanc is much more intense as far as like calf strain and that sort of thing. So what I'm thinking about while I'm running in the shoe, can this still be Ultra's big answer to running long, ultra marathons, 100 milers. That's been my experience in the past, and that's what I hope to learn from the Olympus 5. Tell me, can you go the distance? We'll see. Time will tell. Yo! Getting towards the steeper stuff. 5% up to like 35%, I think, here. You know, another thing that I'm really gonna wanna focus on with these shoes over time will be how much they break in or wear down. I've had tons of issues with Ultras in the past, the midsole flattening out prematurely. I am curious if the midsole continues to sort of compact and we lose a bit of that bounce, that cushion, that life. That'd suck, because it happens every time in every Ultra that I review, it seems. The temperature has dropped quite a bit since we started, but it's actually even better than it was when we started. Oh, I love autumn, man. Give me that pumpkin spice. Vibram, Mega Grip, it's fantastic, yay. The upper I can feel, it's kind of opening up a bit. So I'm gonna want to relace before hitting section line down. Ooh, switching to power hike mode. Beep, boop, boop. Activate. Oh, into the sunshine. Look at that view, huh? So dramatic. This is my Oscar moment. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh should melt. Saw and resolve itself into a dew. Last punch. E. I hate running this section, but I have to do it because I'm on camera. Oh, stupid steep section. Okay, I'm ready to look weak. Here we go, power hike. Grind it out. Yeah, I'm glad the shoes are comfy. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. There we go. Great room for my foot in these. Doesn't feel constrained at all. Not a lot of movement, just great comfort. Woo, nice. Low afternoon sun, just beautiful on Tiger. We're kind of heading into the sunset. Who doesn't want to go out and run after this, huh? So come on out to the Northwest. Come take a trip out here. Come run some of these trails. Sign up for Tiger Claw, we'd love to have you. I'm actually gonna relace. This is a good opportunity to tighten up before we head down. Just needing to tighten up laces not a lot of protection on the tongue 
And that's actually a carryover from previous version two. Crank him. Yank him. Spank him. Yee. Yee. Ah, let's get some longer laces on there, Ultra. Tiny little lace ball. Let's run. <laughs> oh, super fun on the downhill. Very cushioned. Oh, this is fun. I just exploded my heart. <laughs> oh, it's a sneeze. That's all. I am noticing a bit of toe rub at the front of the toe box. That has happened for me the past in the Olympus. As you start to do a lot more descents and like faster downhills, the upper opens, the laces stretch, and your foot kind of wants to shove towards the front. So I'm kind of purposefully holding back because I don't want it to turn into a blister or a hot spot. That's too bad. And these are size 11. The Mont Blanc was size 11. And that's just how different every pair of Ultras is. The sizes are never consistent. All right, just wrapping up the section line descent. That was really nice. I'm a little bummed that my toes are kind of touching the front of the shoes, but we're off the steep stuff and now we'll get to some rollers, which will be fun. Then we're gonna hang a right on this power road here. And then we're gonna have some fun on a bit more single track, which we have not done for trail tested yet. We're gonna head out to the Wetlands Trail. Really fun single track, very flat, a little technical in spots, but it kind of meanders through the woods. And on a day like today, it's gonna be beautiful, it should be great. As expected, the Olympus just wants to eat up all the little bumps. That midsole kind of absorbs it, outsole rubber absorbs it, up and over the roots. Make sure the camera guy stays upright. Not a lot of hikers, not a lot of noise. It's just really peaceful. What an afternoon. So fun. Reviewing some shoes, running some trails, talking to myself. Oh, can't ask for anything more, except for maybe a snack. You guys got a snack? A little snack? Hello, changing leaves. Oh, so pretty. Forest bath. Scrub, scrub, heading back to the daylight here. I think we're gonna head back on the same trail that we did a couple trail tests ago, where we got swooped by the owl. Not because we're tempting fate. It's been, it's been weeks since we actually had that encounter. I just think it's a really fun trail to run. And on a beautiful day like today, why not? Here we go, back into the woods. So I'd say here on this last mile, that this is sort of what these shoes are really suited for. The shoes are meant to go long. They can do a little bit of everything. Ooh, watch it, stickers. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. Those blackberries are fermenting. Here we are in very familiar territory. A few trail tested back. This is where we got swooped, so I have my head on a swivel. Owls are out here all the time. Of course, we're running through their land. Mr. Owl, we're coming through. Please allow us passage. We'd appreciate it very much because I don't want to shit my pants again, thank you. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Olympus 5. I think it follows the lineage of an already very popular ultra shoe from Ultra. Uh, so far, it seems to do exactly what I'd hoped. Cushioned, protective, grippy ride. Perfect for those long, long efforts. That midsole has already compacted a bit. A lot more testing ahead. While the shoe might be durable from a materials perspective, the midsole might still fall in line with the problematic midsoles that Ultra is known for. So, interesting day with two very interesting shoes. What a beautiful day. Thank you for coming on a trail run with me. Appreciate that and hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, last hill. Fuck that. Elite power hiker. And that my friends wraps up today's trail tested. Super fun one. Uh, we had the Olympus 5 and the Mont Blanc Boa, both from Ultra. Again, initial impressions. So I have full reviews coming for both of these shoes to this channel. 
click subscribe, click the notification bell. You'll be updated anytime I upload a new video. These reviews, this video, new movies, new live streams, whatever. Uh, and consider joining the GR crew. Head on over to patreon.com slash the ginger runner. All tiers get access to some super fun perks, including our live streams. We have online discussions for all things gear, Discord server, all that good stuff. Plus it's an amazing community of runners just like you from around the world. Get out there, train hard, race harder, and part of the hardest. See you guys next time. Aw, that was good.